Welcome back, folks, to another episode of the Firewood Doctor. Uh, before the PPE police uh, chime in, uh, next weekend I'll be going to get a seat, go so, somewhere to see if I can get uh, buckles in that, that make, uh, for a strap extension so the chaps I have will work. Uh, I do have, I just got another one I don't have it put together for a proper face shield, so you PPE police, I can calm down, get your uh, undies out of, out of a wad, so. So you can hear I got the saw warming up. I'll be starting with the 572 XP. I use the uh, lighter saw. I, I go lighter as I go, you know, so. I got to sharpen up from yesterday's mishap. I got the... Echo 590 waiting on standby in case I hit dirt again. Uh, someone said something about put the, you know, instead of cutting the logs on the ground, put them up on top of another log. Well, uh, I don't have a tractor to lift these logs up off the ground. Uh, the the end of that log pile there, there's no runner under there. He couldn't uh, reach with the grapple and the log truck arm to uh, put a skid under there, so... I'm gonna have to uh, risk. Uh, I'm gonna be risking uh, hitting the ground on the first uh, couple of cords of wood here. So I already did uh, probably half a cord close to it. But uh, now to get cutting, see how it, see how the day goes. <laughs>
Here, now to get the rounds out of the way so I can uh, keep on going up the pile. Let's see, how much did I use up? Maybe quarter tank so far. What a difference a sharp chain makes. Holy cow, man, was that thing dull compared to this. It's like trying to cut this wood with a butter knife. Okay, folks, since the end of that video, uh, filming, uh, right where it ended is when I smashed my finger, split it open, so I went and got stitches, and then uh, other things came up I had to do, so I didn't get to uh, do the proper ending for the video that I wanted to. And then, uh, since then, I had a incident where that injured the lower back, so... I uh, just got that, got the uh, anti-inflammatory, so I'll be back to working uh, the day this video comes out, actually. So I'll be uh, rehabbing it again. Uh, hopefully it, the injury didn't set me back as far back as uh, um, I was uh, last year at this time, where I could barely do any cutting, you know, like half a tank of gas. So hopefully the fitness level I had before... I uh, won't, won't take long to come back, or if, if it's halfway, that'd be great. So I'll be back. I'll probably be doing a little splitting and probably running the 550 XP a lot since, you know, it's the lightest saw I got. Probably be working on the basswood since the snow is pretty much melted out of the way there. So until next time, folks, take care. Get out there do something. Have fun doing it.